because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're in a forest here <laughs> in Cardiff. <laughs> you haven't interviewed me for ages. I know, because you're too big time now, you're 7 and 0. <laughs> I've been waiting for you to come and ask me. No, you haven't at all. <laughs> all this press. Um, 7 and 0 for you now. Sum up for me your performance, Sky. It was good. Um, I feel like I showed a little bit more than what I've showed in my first six fights. Um, obviously, I, I feel like there's still so much more to show, um, but I am happy that we showed a little bit more. Um, I think, like I've said from the start, I think I'm going to perform better against better opponents. Um, she knew how to survive. Uh, we knew that she was going to be tough and durable, but um, I think when I've got someone coming in to, to try and win, that's when we'll see my better performances. I think, yes, you make a very valid point, and I think it's very apparent that you, if you're in with kind of opponents that, I'm not saying you weren't up for today, because yes. obviously you've got a job to do and you did the job, but when the opponent, the calibre of the opponent is that much higher, we are going to see the best of Sky Nicholson. Yeah, definitely. I feel like she was um, very negative, but it also, it forced me to be more aggressive, it forced me to be on the front foot, which is something... I don't normally do, so uh, I think for me it was still a, a box to tick there. Um, I got to show a bit more aggression, I showed a bit more spite. Um, she, she was quite awkward and, and ducked really low and made it a little bit hard, but um, yeah, no, I think lots of learning points. I feel like it, it was a good development fight for me, exactly what we needed and wanted. Progression-wise for you though, are you pleased? I mean, seven fights, I'm sure you would have had to have, or wanted to have, Probably a few more at this stage of your career, but seven fights in for you now. Progression-wise, you think you're developing okay? Yeah. Um, obviously, when I turned pro last year, it was um, it was all very new to me. I barely watched pro boxing. Um, I've been very ingrained in the amateur system. I've boxed as an amateur for 15 years, so um, it's all still very new for me. And uh, I feel like we're developing nicely. I, I love my team. I love who I work with, and I've got a really good team around me. And they see what I do in the gym and it's, it's just trying to transfer what we're doing in sparring and in the gym into my performances and I feel like we showed a little bit more tonight but still just the tip of the iceberg of um, what I'm capable of so uh, like I said to you I think we'll see more of that uh, in, in bigger fights and, and against better opponents. Yeah I mean I use that comparison because we know women's boxing things can be pushed um, forward quite quickly in terms of, look at Sandy Ryan tonight, she's on the verge, if she comes through tonight, of winning a world title and then fighting for Undisputed. And that's not uncommon in women's boxing. So at some point, I'm assuming for you that you kind of want to push towards at least challenging for a world title. Definitely, of course, that's the goal. Um, we've been ordered by the WBC to fight the WBC interim champion in my next fight, uh, Sabrina Perez, an Argentinian. Um, I think she's 18 and one. Uh, I think that's a good step in the right direction for me. I think that's the perfect next fight for us anyway. Um, I'm ready for that challenge and I'm excited for that challenge. I feel like uh, I need a challenge. I need something in front of me that's going to make me work. Um, and that's where I think we'll see my best fights. Are you settled here now? Because obviously you made the big jump from over to down under and all that. <laughs> but you, you made that kind of life ch uh, style choice to come here, situate yourself over here, train in Kent. <laughs> but are you settled here now? I am. Um, I feel like I've, I've made a home away from home here. Uh, I've got my little sausage dog, Tito. I've got a really good community around Who? me. <laughs> Tito. 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 He's my sausage dog. He's right. basically Instagram famous. <laughs> don't know. Right, I, I haven't seen know. him. All right, I'll follow him back. <laughs> him, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, I've, I've, I've got a really good base here now and um, I definitely, I do feel at home here in the UK. Uh, I get great sparring, I've got um, a really good training regime here and I'm, I'm happy. When you see the opportunities that kind of 
matchroom female fighters have had, uh, whether it's you know Chantel Cameron, whether it's Sandy Ryan tonight, and then further on, even Kate Taylor, etc. It must give you good incentive that you're at the right place and you keep doing your thing, and those chances will come. Definitely, um, I feel like. Matchroom's the best in the business, especially for women's boxing. I think it's a great time for women's boxing right now. There's big fights to be made. There's big fights being made. Um, and it's exciting. And I'm, I'm really excited to, to hopefully be in those big fights and, and become a household name in, in the boxing world. OK, we look forward to it. Now, I'm going to alert people to an uh, off-camera conversation that we had yesterday where you offered to spar me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That officer. No, actually, we said like, how many views would it do? Depends what happened in it, I suppose. I suppose, but I think we know what's what, going to happen. What, yeah, but what's going to happen? Because obviously, I can't like do my full hundred percent. You can do your full hundred percent. You let me do my full hundred. Yeah, I think that's only fair. And what will you go? Full hundred percent as well. Yeah. Yeah. Shall we set it up? Do you want to do it next week? Okay, before I've got a, li I, before I've I got a list of people. What? Before I fly to Portugal for my holiday. Oh, yeah, because you can't have, you know. No, I've got a list of people I'm going to spar. Oh, so I'm just on a list now? No, actually, the list is just you and Conor Ben. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll let Conor Ben go first. No, because that could be the end of me, to be fair. Soften you up for me to finish. No, I'll, no, I'll go if you want to do it next week. Go on. Okay, yeah, no, I think we should definitely. Um, How many rounds? Link up at the iBox for that. Okay. Do you want to do two minute rounds or three minute rounds? I want to do one round. <laughs> one three minute round. One two minute round. <laughs> one two and a half minute round. Two and a half minute round. Okay. Head guards or not? No head guards. No head guards. No head guards. <laughs> Who's going to film this? We'll get Eddie Lamb to film it. Okay. Yeah? It's on. Right. Shall we shake on it? I'll one, do it. Two and a half minute round. One, two and a half minute round. At the iBox gym, okay. filmed by Eddie Lamb. I'm telling this to all professional <laughs> athletes, don't take liberties with me. I'm just like an idiot that holds a camera. So. I'll, I'll go easy on you. Okay. I'll, I'll go. Give you a full thing. Go oh, on. You want the full thing? Yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> Hello. Cut that bit. No, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. No, that's fine. We'll do it. We'll do it. Okay. Kim Cassius versus Sky Nicholson. Just go viral in Australia. One, two and a half minute round. <laughs> You can announce yourself if you want. You can commentate while you're doing it. It's fine. Yeah. All right, okay, let's, let's, let's talk about it next week. Okay. Uh, Sky Nicholson, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV as always. Have you got anything else you'd like to add? Any sponsor shout-outs, etc.? No, not really. Oh, I mean, shout-out to JD Sports. Okay. Probably don't put that bit in. Okay. No worries. Sky Nicholson, thank you very much. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we'll see my death next week. Yeah. <laughs> See you next week. Yeah. Refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never, never shot up, Harry. And it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We need their guilt wins. Right, the bouncers' guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. 